Oh, at this point, I like the great sword, but I think I'm going to switch back to the regular sword, at least for a little while. Oh, this might also be daytime, so I might be able to do some things. How's the grind? It's going well. I'm wealthy? Not on purpose, but I am wealthy. Okay, inventory is filled with... Okay, so it only was a stack of five golem designs, but still. A stack of five golem designs is still worth some cash. Um... Ah, this is a pickle. What do I do with some of this stuff? Uh... Well, I guess I can sell some of it. Can I not? Can I? Can I not? Can't. I can't sell stuff. Okay, fine. Ah. Uh, let's just grab the crap and leave the stuff that I I like and need. Okay, so we've grabbed the most of the garbage that we don't need. I apparently can't use my melee. Um, my glass. You can get rid of the training sword. I can sell the training sword actually. Uh, it sells for a decent amount from what I remember. Okay, so I can... Oh, do I want to get... Let's go... Speed. Okay. Don't have enough. Okay, so I've got parts of what I needed. Does this... Yes, this does reflects what I wear on my character, too. Okay, so I'm a little bit faster. It's not that much, which means the speed downs from the other stuff. Oh, I was also using the greatsword. Okay, what do we want? We want to buy enchantments. Oh. Yeah, so enchanting enchanting my equipment does just straight up give me a de uh, massive defense bonus. So I'm going to do that. It looks like you can only enchant it very infrequently, but still. Maybe only once. Do we buy huh. masonry from him? I'd only be able to get two. It doesn't really make it worth it. Okay, so I spent 2,000... No, let, let's go fight the boss. Uh, let's go, let's go make some... Let's go make some uh, potions, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm just gonna squander all of my money, and I'm pretty much not allowed to go back to the dungeon until I clear my stock. Okay, so that's recipe versus not. And then we can also make the higher tier ones, but no, let's let's make the cheap ones for a while. Oh, why can I not make multiple? Oh. Okay. Oh, I accidentally made one of the big ones. Whoops. Well, um, that's where all my money went. I remember making one of the big ones. Oh. I'm just gonna move this over. And yeah, we have no more, no more space, but that, that's fine. I feel so sluggish in my shop. That's a good, that's the other thing I should do. I should probably go get my quick sword. I'd like to, uh, I like the great sword. It's got some oomph to it, uh, that I appreciate. Oh, hey. Uh. The problem is, if I'm gonna be fighting the boss, I want something quick. Let's see, does the recipe let you make the potion in the dungeon? No. It effectively, it's... Either we pay full price for a potion, which is expensive, or we pay the recipe price, which is cheaper, but costs resources. So, trade-off, effectively. Alright, so let's go fight this... Let's go fight this boss. And... I could actually clear the rest of the floor. Oh. I mean, if I was a crazy person, I'd actually go right down there again. Do we want to... Do we want to be stupid? 
Because here's the thing. My highest probability of getting masonry is actually from the challenge rooms. Which, to some degree, is more valuable to me. Yeah, let's go back down. I'm just going to go do the challenge room uh, a couple of times. Because we need masonry to get better equipment. And I've got a defense bonus, though I'm not sure if it's a flat reduction or what exactly. Oh. <laughs> nope, never mind. Uh, you can't actually redo the... Um... Wait, this is glowy in this room too? Really now? There is, but there's nothing there. That's less exciting. Let's see, I guess I can just go this way. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get nearly as much. But, there's a couple of treasure chests I don't think I looted originally, anyway. Uh, let's see, we've already been through this. I wish those lore rooms would stop spawning, actually. I mean, now that I've... Now that I've cleared them out, like, why even, why even have them spawn? Oh, well, maybe... Maybe we don't have treasure chests left to spawn in here. No, it doesn't look like it. Unless I went this way originally. I don't remember how my map went. I guess let's look the other direction. I just, it's not like I'm um, in trouble here. Oh. Ow. Ow. Okay, so there is a reason to go this way. There's not much of a reason, to be totally honest. But there is a reason, so let's go check it out. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, so there's straight up money on the ground. Well, that's kind of awesome. However, uh, there's a chest up ahead. How greedy am I? Very. Oh. That makes sense. So I never went this way. The other interesting point is there's a... Uh, it's only a bypass. I was, I was expecting that would actually be like a, a different branch entirely, but no. Here we go. Okay, so I have something that can go home immediately. I'm going to send those home. Uh, this can get destroyed. Or would get destroyed. Okay, there we go. So I'm, I've lost all my armor, but... That's really not that much of a setback. Because I almost never have it. And we've still got the healing, um... We've still got the the healing spring. Oh, yep, there he is. Sorry if you hear the controller. Uh, it's a little bit close to me. I'm, I have to hold it in a certain certain position because my, uh... My wrist has just been a little hurty lately. And I'm trying to, uh... You know, light, light duty it a little bit. Okay, move these. I'd almost say managing the inventory would be easier. Uh, let's see. Managing the inventory might almost be easier if I was using keyboard and mouse. I just don't think it would be worth it otherwise. Well, worth it otherwise? I don't know. 
Let's see, is this game still for backers only? Sort of. Uh, this game will be available to the public in a handful of days. What? What are you doing? Okay, fine. Is this another sparkly room? Nope. Alright, well, barely did any damage. Oh, interesting. Falling, um... Falling makes you take extra damage from, uh... Uh, like, proportional to your health. It's a, uh... It's a percentage. So, because I had extra... I had extra HP. I took extra damage. Alright, well, let's go fight the golem boss again. Oh. Another friend. Ow. Well, guess we're gonna go heal first. I made an oops. Okay. Boss time, right? Boss time. I've got my bow. I got my sword. He's gone. I can only fight him once. Maybe? How do I... Really? Either that or I have to reset the area. Can I just leave the dungeon? What happens if you don't have enough cash? I guess you sell every everything. I'm disappointed. Well, let's get out of here. I have no idea what time it's going to be. I don't know what day it's going to be. We have done so many things over the course of this quote-unquote run. I have no idea. You, you only defeat each boss once. Okay, and now it's just straight up nighttime, and I can do nothing. So that begs the question. The Golem history books that I picked up, these things, do I sell them? Or should I ho hoard them like crazy? Is there is there a use for them? But man, I'm disappointed you only fight them once? <sighs> Huh. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's just a little... Uh, a little... Ish. Okay. I'm not sure if I like that... That change. It doesn't... It doesn't seem like it makes the game more fun, taking away the boss. I guess part of it is, like... Yeah, I might just hold on to the history books in that case. We'll, we'll see. Oops. Ah, crap. Ah, uh, well... Honestly, except for the plant dungeon crap, I'm actually fine for selling most of these. Yeah, the Golem King Jottings. Uh, let's see, but like the Golem designs and whatnot, I can, I can sell those freely. Okay, that's this is probably enough. Let's, let's just open the, the shop and make madcaps amount of money, give or take, if I can. that guy? I have no idea. So things I'd like to buy would probably be like major major upgrades for the store. If I can manage them. Let's see. People don't like the books. Golem Designs 2. Okay. Well, they like... Th they like the uh, the prices on some of those things. Okay, he really liked the price on that one, which is worrisome. Ah, uh, let's see. So four four hundred is too low for those. And we haven't tried six hundred on that one.
I'm just gonna be undercutting myself, I guess, by pure accident. Yeah, I hope you don't get any thieves. I have yet to run into any kind of thievery in this game. So my assumption is... My assumption is, uh... You fuck... Okay, there are thieves. They will steal my stuff. Unfortunately, what am I supposed to do? Roll into them? Yeah, so we did get our first thief there. That sucks, but I mean... What am I gonna do about it? Okay, I have some more chisels. Let's drop them off. I don't know if people like those prices. What about these? 300 is too low for these things. I practically summoned the guy. So I guess what I'm supposed to do... Wait, can I just sell from here? Okay, cool. I don't have to be behind behind the shop at all. I can just hang out here. So note to self, keep cranking up those golem design prices. Because they are uh, a lot higher than I gave them credit for. Oops. Not, sp not supposed to be that pricey. What about you? I guess I'll just sell the manuals. When the thief walked in, he had a beanie and a thought bubble above his head. So yeah, they'll they'll take they'll take whatever. Uh, let's see. I'm not. I don't really have much left to sell, honestly, from this sort anyway. But yeah, it's a lot easier to tell who's a thief and who's not. <laughs> I am actually profiling thieves, but it certainly does make my life easier. They're right next to the door, though. Uh, she suddenly really liked the looks of something. What do I have left? I've got that. I can sell this. I'm just gonna offload everything, even if it doesn't sell for much. Because apparently I'm stupid wealthy. Go away. So I think we still have, like, another day's worth of selling if I wanted to. And I do. What's this? Place. Every visitor adds a generous... ...tip to their payment. Oh, these are decorations. Oh. So we want that... We want the decorative dude. He's a lot more helpful than I expected he would be. Okay, what else do we have? I mean, honestly, a bunch of these things. I don't know what's useful, necessarily. For crafting, but it's probably best that I just offload some of the crap anyway. I'm assuming s stuff like gold... And, like, the chisels and whatnot are, are pure vendor trash. Well, let's see. Can you just sell one of one one of an item and find out the best price like that? Yes, I could do that. I, I probably should do that. Okay, now for Rememberite, 600 is still too cheap for these things. Let's just do the thousands and see what people think of that. Let's take these back. They're worth nothing. So 600 is too much for old golem minion designs. So let's do 500.
then I think people liked this price, yeah? No. They loved that price. Too much, really. Let's do like 750, maybe. Let's see, sell the training sword. I should, yeah. Uh, cause I'm not- I'm not gonna get status effects on that. Okay, so we can't get any of these. I'm gonna have to go into the forest dungeon to get most of the upgrades that I care for. Okay, so we want to invest in the town. We want to pick up the hawker. As a hawker, I've traveled the world looking for techniques to create objects that can inspire people. Visit my cart to find objects that can make your shop look more interesting to visitors. Oh, cannot request character during... Sure, fine. Okay. So, extra 20% tip when paying. Tempting. Well, the hawker is only 20... 20,000, so yeah, let's let's grab that. I don't know about the cheap sale box. And I can also get a better chest. We'll get a better better storage chest for the time being. It wasn't very expensive. Now my shop is my shop is not so full. Okay, I, I can go adventuring once, but let's not use a portal. And I'm just gonna dump these off. For now. And yeah, I should sell that training sword. Where is it? There you are. Sell you for... Let's do 250? I'm not actually sure how much to sell weapons for. Okay, the other thing I can do while we're here, I've upgraded some of my equipment. I can probably upgrade a lot more. Okay, what do we want to craft today? Enchantments. Uh, let's see, so I can upgrade that. I can also upgrade my sword and shield. I can upgrade this, but I don't think I'm going to upgrade that bow. We want to wait until we've got a status effect that I like. So you can repeatedly up upgrade... You can repeatedly upgrade magic weapons. Uh, weapons to be more magical. So, yeah, potentially if I wanted to, I could actually uh, continuously upgrade a uh, a weapon to do more and more damage. That might be helpful. Anyway, for now, let's let's head into the forest dungeon. The I, I know I need to do the earth dungeon, but it has become boring. So you're going to sell a sword for 25% of what you paid the blacksmith to make it. From what I remember, uh, items don't sell for, like, weapons and armor barely sell for anything. It's kind of sad, actually. Okay, so I can, I can two-shot things on this floor. That's a good sign. What's this? What do you say? I... it says... Okay, perpetrator, don't care. And now I'm poor. I am temporarily poor, excuse me. How am I liking the game so far? I'm liking it a lot. This game is... it's got some rough edges. It's got some bits that I would, uh, would have loved to see them, uh, spend a little bit more time on. Uh, specifically, the moving of the combat still feels very clunky compared to many other games of its class. Uh, but as far as, like, a, a basic grind loop RPG goes, not bad. Okay. Oh, wait, no. More patterns in secret. Carrying too much loot? Too much treasure? But you don't want to stop? You can't stop. Then have I got something for you hidden somewhere on the third floor between the start and where you end. The end here being the massive creature at the bottom of the dungeon. Meaning the dungeon's end is more than likely your end. But between those two spots, one may notice a sparkle, a glimmer of something just beyond a pit of infinite darkness. You're brave. I ask that you give it a jump. See what's down there. Interesting. It is definitely one... Oh... 
It's definitely one of those where I should have been um, prioritizing my... I should have been prioritizing my... upgrading my equipment much earlier in the game. Because it turns out it actually makes a massive difference. The armor bonuses from enchanting, the uh, the damage bonus from enchanting weapons and stuff. All of those uh, would have actually made a massive difference instead of upgrading my shop. Oh, we've got a sparkle. I don't know if I want to go down Sparkle Alley here. Uh, this might be something. What is it? Forest History 1. Oh! Whoa! Okay, so he's straight up after me now. He didn't like that. Well, I guess I have no choice but to go down. I'd like to try those new rooms, but with forest history, uh, sitting around in my inventory, no dice. Now, he doesn't follow me to this floor, right? No, it doesn't look like he does. Okay, cool. So we've we've put that in a useful spot. I don't know. Well, we don't want to hold on to that. I don't know which of these are the most useful. Uh, so I wanna I wanna clear my inventory a little bit. Okay, we're looking for something that looks like a seed pot. I don't think that's it. No, venomous spores, though. That's a new thing. Because if I die, I want to hold on to at least some of this stuff. Book better be worth it. Yeah, I have no idea what it's useful for. There has been a recent discovery that will change the game as we know it. These curious pendants have been uncovered inside the dungeons. I just recently found one myself. It's quite a fascinating piece. Instead of fainting and losing most of your items in, the, in escaping the dungeon, one may actually insert gold into this pendant. The resulting portal, uh, the result is a portal transporting you back to town. No longer must one risk life and limb in these dungeons. Some of the more burly adventurers, or heroes as they like to be called, seem to frown upon the use of these pendants. I mean, yeah, what's the point if you don't get a scar, am I right? 